is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new wwe action figure news for you guys tons of action figure news all over the community it seems has just been flying everywhere maybe it's because san diego comic-con was coming up and it's just getting out there or I, i'm not exactly sure what the case is but i am excited once we get to that comic-con date because there's going to be even more news so it's just like the news has just been popping out everywhere we got brand new news here today and i'm excited to get into it guys let's go ahead and start off with this right here you guys will see on your screen it's kind of a blurry image you know it's not the most clearest image ever but you can see there it's like a seth rollins basic figure and it has a motorcycle with like a little road and then it has like a little is that a barricade on the left side and then it's got some more details about the motorcycle on the right side and it looks to me like this is going to be like a slamming mobile motorcycle is what it, it looks like. It looks like it's going to be a Slammin' Mobile motorcycle that can pull apart, much like we got with the Slammin' Mobile with Braun Strowman. It looks like we're going to get the exact same thing, but in motorcycle form. Now, one thing I will tell you guys is I highly doubt it's going to come with this Seth Rollins basic. That's a really old Seth Rollins basic, and he, they have used that figure in that wave. You know you know that wave that like comes with a weapon? It's like uh, the Target exclusive wave. I can't remember what it's called. It may be called the Slammin' Wave or whatever, but Daniel Bryan Brian came with like a trash can and a trash bag accessory. AJ Styles, I think, came with some chairs. Seth Rollins came with a table. So on and so forth. You guys get what I'm talking about. This is not going to come with a Seth Rollins figure. I think this is simply for promos and just images and stuff like that for people. And just kind of like a sample image is what I'm guessing for it. But it looks like we're going to be getting a slamming chopper motorcycle, it looks like. And it's got, you know, the engine on there. It's, it's all blacked out. I'm not sure if it's going to have a WWE logo on it. But you can see the wheels there. And on the right side you can see where it looks like it's going to be able to break apart after somebody gets slammed on it or somebody breaking it apart and unless in the next few weeks Seth Rollins gimmick is going to change he's going to come out to the ring in a motorcycle or something like that I highly doubt that's going to happen I think this is going to come with the Undertaker and like a basic American badass Undertaker is what I would guess I could be wrong about that I'm just guessing and maybe that is what it'll come with maybe it's going to be the motorcycle an Undertaker basic and a barricade possibly this little road accessory but that just could be a display stand I'm not exactly sure but this is a pretty wicked playset so at this moment when this release by the time this releases, we'll probably have three different vehicles. We'll have the, the Slammin' Mobile, you know, convertible car that we got with Braun Strowman. We're getting the Slamming Ambulance or the Slammin' Ambulance that is coming very soon that we've discussed here before with the stretcher and everything. I can't wait for that one. And then it looks like we're getting a Slammin' Motorcycle, and that's going to be sick as hell. You guys know I like to expand my WWE action figure garage, and we're going to add another vehicle to that with this motorcycle. I jokingly posted about it on Instagram talking about how we can legitimately do the WWE here comes the paint spot where you grab your opponent and then you drag them around the parking lot and then you throw them into the you know that you throw them all over the place so That would definitely be fun to do. We'll probably get some usage out of it in the pick fed when this thing releases, and that is freaking awesome. But we have more news. We have more news to get through, and I want to get into it right now. Pulling it up here, guys, you will see that we have a new WWE Elite 2-pack. You see these product numbers and these product names. If you go down there, look down there under Drake Maverick. It says WWE Goldberg versus Bret Hitman Hart Elite Collection 2-pack. So a 2-pack is returning, and it looks like we're going to get Goldberg versus Bret Hart, and this is very interesting. This is going to be a WCW 2-pack, it seems, and this is going to actually be from the moment, and I, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure if it's going to be the, the time that Goldberg went to spear Bret Hart and he had the little metal plate underneath his shirt, or if it's going to be from their actual match. Now, this is going to be the interesting details. It's going to be one or the other. I think it'd be pretty cool if it was the promo gear where, you know, uh, Goldberg's in the black and then Bret Hart's in his Maple Leafs jersey and something like that. That would be really cool to see. Uh, much like we got, you know, in the past. We've seen people get released in promo gears and stuff like that. Uh, the Kurt Angle, Milko Mania kind of comes to mind where he's just like in a casual thing with his uh, Kurt Angle jersey on. That would be pretty cool. Or if they went from the actual match, which is what I would probably guess, and maybe it'll come with a metal plate to, you know, make that moment. You could put the metal plate on Bret Hart or something and they could give it to us that way. I don't think they're going to give it to us 
with both these guys in their promo gear out in the ring from that segment. I would imagine it would be in their wrestling gear, and then the metal plate would be an extra accessory that would come in the Elite 2-pack. But who knows? We do know that WWE Elite 2-packs usually have wicked cool accessories and stuff like that, like we saw with AJ Styles and Finn Balor, like we saw with Samoa Joe and Rey Mysterio. But I'm just glad to get another 2-pack. I think it's really sick. I can't wait to see exactly what these guys look like. I'm probably, I'm, I'm, I'm about 70% sure, maybe 50% sure that we'll probably probably see the rest of this two-pack at uh, San Diego Comic-Con. It'll probably be one of the reveals because uh, if you guys look at that list, it has Elite Series, what is that, 78 on there? Or no, it's Elite 80, I think. No, it's Elite 78. They have some of Elite 78 on there. It's got Bobby Fish on there, and it's got the Ultimate Fiend and Hulk Hogan and the Bray Wyatt Fiend. So, it's kind of all over the place a little bit there, but it seems like it's going to be around the release of those things, which is later this year. So I would imagine we would see this at Comic-Con to kind of go along with that timeline and those other figures that are on this product line or on this product list. But a confirmed Elite 2-pack for Goldberg and Brett the Hitman Hart. That's pretty sick. I can't wait to see what we get out of that, what it looks like and all that ish. But we are not done with the news. We got more news. On the screen, you will see an AEW ring with a Cody Rhodes figure, and this is is a Smith's UK exclusive. So all you UK fans, they are not going to have a basic ring for just the US. This is going to be a basic ring that you can get in the UK at Smith's, and it is going to be an AEW basic ring, but it comes with an unrivaled AEW Cody Rhodes figure, so you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be a basic figure. It look, I think it's actually going to be an unrivaled collection Cody Rhodes. I could be wrong about that. They may have just put this image in here. I think this isn't the exact attire you're going to get, I don't think, but you are going to be getting a Cody Rhodes figure with the ring, so that's pretty sick. I, I don't know if it's going to come with this exact Cody Rhodes. I think they just edited this specific Cody Rhodes figure in there, but I think you are going to be getting a Cody Rhodes with your ring. So if any UK fans, anybody out there in the UK watches me, I know I have a, a few of the UK guys out there. Shout out to you guys because you're going to be getting an AEW Ring Smith exclusive Cody Rhodes figure and you finally get something that is all yours and you don't have to worry about, you know, having to pay super duper money for a US exclusive figure that uh, you guys can track down yourselves here. So this is awesome. I'm happy for you guys. I know a lot of you are ready to get UK exclusives. Hopefully they get even more UK exclusives with AEW figures and stuff like that. Cody Rhodes and AEW seem like they treat the UK well. Like they want their audience in the UK to be happy and they want to treat them just the same as everybody else. So that's pretty freaking sweet nasty farticles right there. But we are not done with any more news guys. We have one more thing to cover and we are back with the WWE fan takeover line. Takeover line is back with the elite fan takeover. You guys know that we covered the other day that we were getting Christian in wave two. Well, now we're back again with X-Pac. X-Pac is going to be the next guy in the WWE fan takeover line for series number two. And it says, which real X-Pac figure should Mattel include in the Elite fan takeover line? On the far left, you have 1-2-3 Kid. We've already had a 1-2-3 Kid. You have the X-Factor attire where he joined Albert and they had the greatest theme song of all time, the entrance theme with the Uncle Cracker. And then on the far right, we have the NWO version of X-Pac. And you guys will not believe who was winning this poll when it went up on Twitter. The 1-2-3 Kid was winning this poll when I last checked it. And I said that I would rather have the X-Factor or NWO. I think I personally voted for NWO because I feel like a lot of people would want that in their collections over the X-Factor or the 1-2-3 Kid. We've already had 1-2-3 Kid in Elite Series 40, I think, or Elite Series 41. So I don't think we want to see another 1-2-3 Kid. I think everybody else wants to see NWO X-Pac or X-Factor X-Pac. I honestly would take either or. I, I shared it and said vote B or C. And I think 1-2-3 Kid was still winning the vote. So I, I don't know what to do, man. It's like... Every time they share these polls, the figures that I think the collectors actually want, you can let me know down in the comment section below. Do you want another 1-2-3 kid, or do you want an X-Factor or NWO X-Pac? I voted for the latter two, and 1-2-3 uh, kid was still walking out with the vote at the last time I checked. I'll check and see if it's still up. If it is, it'll be in the link. There'll be a link in the description for you to go vote yourself. But my God, can we get... It's funny because all the replies were collectors actually replying saying, Bro, can you post this somewhere else so we don't keep getting these figures that nobody wants? So, I don't know, man. Just ridiculous. I will say, though, the white on that X-Pac on the 1-2-3 kid, that white with the red and gold is actually kind of fire. I will say that. It looks damn cool. Cool. But uh, we don't need a 1-2-3 kid, man. We don't need a 1-2-3 kid. Give me, give me the X-Factor or give me the NWO X-Pac. 
and everything will be all good with me. But I think that is all the news, man. We got the, I'm sure they'll be releasing the next figure of the Elite Fan Takeover line very soon. So Series 1 was Baszler, Rollins, Cole, and who was that last guy? Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And then here in Series 2 so far, we have Christian and X-Pac. So I'm sure they'll put a woman in there for the next one. So I'm sure we'll get a women's figure for the next one. Or at least one of the figures in the series will be a woman's figure. And then the last one, we'll have to see what they come back for for the men. Or maybe they'll do a man next and then the women last. I'm not exactly sure. But as soon as they post it up, I will let you guys know. But that is all the WWE figure news I have for you guys. Tons of figure news. I mean, we had everything. We had the bike, the slamming motorcycle, the Elite 2-pack, the Smith exclusive ring and then the fan takeover line so i mean we got more news coming i'm sure so stay tuned for all the news guys but that is going to do it for today's video thank you so very much for watching let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at my name toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you